Okay guys, let's chat. So if you hear a sound, it's the fire going right here. And I know we probably shouldn't have a fire inside the building, but I have to paint and it's really cold outside today. And the heating is taped up right now. So we have a fire. But I realized that I made kind of a stupid decision because I assumed that every wallpaper on the Magnolia Home website was peel and stick. I don't know why I assumed that, but I guess I just assumed like all wallpapers now are moving to peel and stick. And also, I told you guys that I watched Catherine Manning put peel and stick Magnolia wallpaper in her office and in her bedroom. And I was like, oh, if Catherine can do it, I can do it. That looks super easy. And I knew that it was the Magnolia brand. So I just went on the Magnolia site, looked at all the patterns, picked up ones I liked, and then bought them. And then I was just thinking today that I should start prepping the wallpaper and I should make sure that I have everything that I need for peel and stick. Um, and actually how I discovered it is because it's getting like really hot in here. I gotta open the door. So I was prepping everything for wallpaper, just like making sure I had all the supplies that I need and everything like that. So I was looking at what kind of paint you should stick peel and stick wallpaper to, like if it needed to be eggshell, satin, semi-gloss, whatever. Because we've already painted one coat on the wall that's getting wallpaper and it's eggshell. So I just wanted to be sure that that was fine. And right now I'm about to paint in the bathroom um, just a coat, a base coat that we can attach the wallpaper to. And so I wanted to see if I needed to pick like an eggshell or a satin or anything. And that took me to the Magnolia website where I saw like, you know, some tips and tricks for wallpaper and I didn't see anything about peel and stick. And I was like, okay, why are all of the tips and tricks for like wallpaper that you have to paste if this is supposedly peel and stick? <laughs> So I went and I looked at my wallpaper and I opened up one of the rolls and it wasn't like easily peelable and I was like crap I don't think this is peel and stick and I looked at the label and it it says pre-pasted and I was like dang it <laughs> I don't know why I just assumed that everything was peel and stick but I did so thank goodness pre-pasted is supposed to be also pretty easy to put up on a wall and very removable. I don't regret getting the wallpaper that I got because I have been looking for a pattern that looks identical to that for like a month. And so that's the pattern I want. That pattern does not come in peel and stick. I figured out that other Magnolia wallpapers do come in peel and stick, but the ones I bought don't come in peel and stick. And I wouldn't have wanted to change my mind just to make the process a little bit simpler because pre-pasted is supposed to be pretty simple. And I've watched a few videos that show you how to do it. And it seems like it's really simple and you can move it if you have to. So it's not something that you're just like committing to and once you stick it on the wall, like it's over. Um, so, I feel like me and my dad can definitely figure out how to do the pre-pasted. Um, but it's gonna take us like a full day because I've got three walls in the bathroom and one wall in here. And it's like six total rolls of wallpaper. So it's probably gonna take us at least a full day. So we're trying to figure out when we're gonna do that. Um, but there are just a few things I have to do before we can put the wallpaper up. So we have to put a trim piece along the floor. If you can see down here, there's a trim piece right there. We have to put that on the other walls. Um, so we'll do that. And then I have to put a coat of paint in the bathroom, which I'm about to do. Um, and that's really all we have to do before we're ready for wallpaper. I am hoping the next video that you watch is us doing wallpaper in the entire place. So it's getting five walls of wallpaper. This wall right here, you can see we've drawn um, I clearly wouldn't be a good weatherman. <laughs> We've drawn a plan for the built-in bookshelves. So the guy is supposed to be coming tomorrow to measure for this, and then he's gonna get started building it. Um, but this wall is gonna be green. I think I showed the samples in the last video or the video before. I'm going with Canadian fur on this wall. So I'm really excited about that. This wall is gonna be green. The wall behind me is already painted. It's beautiful. It's like white, but if you compare it to the white on the ceiling, 
it's just like slightly darker and like a little bit more gray tone, which is exactly what I wanted. So it's called Snowed In, and I'll show you guys what that looks like on the whole wall in a second. But we've got two walls completely done. This wall is gonna be done soon. That wall is getting wallpaper. And we just have to do a shiplap wall in the bathroom. So I will say, while also holding my breath, that the walls could all be done in a week. Let's just hope that that happens. On the list of things that we have to do to be move-in ready, we have to put some self-leveling stuff on a couple places on the floor. We have to put the trim up, do wallpaper, do a shiplap wall. I have to sand my desk because we made my desk like three years ago and it is beautiful. I'm so excited to put that desk in here. It's gonna look so great but the top of it keeps getting water rings on it, even though I don't sit at that desk with a drink ever. Like the only thing that I do at that desk is my makeup um, and I never have drinks in my room or anything like that. So I don't know how it keeps getting these water rings and stains on it. I think my beauty blender might've put some spots on it. I'm not sure, but it has spots on it. So I have to sand the top down and restain the top of the desk, which isn't a big deal because I have the stain and everything. Um, so it'll probably take me like 30 minutes, but I have to sand that down and restain it. And then for the cabinet that I showed that's going in the bathroom, the vanity cabinet, um, we have to cut a piece out of the back of it. Um, I'll take you in there and show you why. So this is the little spot we have to cut around for the cabinet. So we're gonna have to cut into the shelves because the cabinet only sticks out probably like 10 inches it's gonna be like right here. So we're gonna to have to cut into the shelves and into the back of the cabinet so that we can make space for those pipes and stuff. So we have to do that really quickly, but it shouldn't be a big deal. Like a flower that is losing its petals I saw people losing their head There are too many levels And nobody to tell you what's next She took her time to handle the ache Just like taking a swan dive in a blue
Like a tower that is losing its balance Everything is falling apart Is it too much to handle? Is there a way to restart? She took her time to handle the ache Just like taking a swan dive in a blue lake How far we go if we have to fight the We had to fight the So this is the finished wall color. You can kind of tell that it has like a cool tone to it. I think it looks so good with the board and batten all being the same color as the wall. So it might need just some touch-ups in some small places, which we'll go back and do. But here's just a look at one of the side walls and the front wall. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Love it so much. And the door still has to be painted, so ignore that. But here's just a closer look at the difference. So the ceiling color is just ultra white, and then this is called snowed in, and it's a Valspar color. We just got it at Lowe's, which is where we get everything. But they're just slightly different, but when you're here in person, it definitely still is a white color. You can tell that it's white and it's very clean looking. So I really love the contrast. We just haven't taken down the paper yet in case we have to do any touch-ups. But I really, really love it. it. Looks super great. So now I'm gonna go paint the bathroom. She took her time to handle the ache. Just like taking a swan dive in a blue But that's it for this video. It was a lot of painting and it's gonna be a lot of painting probably for like the next week as we finish up all the walls and do touch ups on trim and everything like that. So we've got a lot of painting ahead of us and a lot of wallpapering ahead of us, but we're closing in, we're getting there. We're getting close to moving and thank you so much for watching this. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I can't say it enough. If you're one of my friends or someone that I know in real life and you haven't subscribed, that would help me out so much. All of my friends are super encouraging about this process and they love what I'm doing in the She Shed. Um, so if you have a Gmail account, that's all it takes to subscribe to this account. So click subscribe down below, leave a comment, let me know if you're watching, if you've been following along, what you're liking about the process, what you think of the wall color. I've tried to be really consistent about making these videos and I've been doing it for almost two months now. I've been posting twice a week. They've either been about the she shed or like a vlog or something, but I've been really consistent and I will keep being consistent for the rest of the year and on because I think this is so much fun and I really enjoy sharing things with you guys. I just always had this thing inside of me that just wants to share with other people around me. So 
this is what's going on in my life right now and I'm gonna share it with you guys and in the future, anything else that's going on, I hope to share with you guys too. So subscribe so that you don't miss anything. You don't miss any of the projects I'm working on or anything like that and hit the like button. That would be such a huge help to me. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Like a tower that is losing its balance Everything is falling apart Is it too much to handle? Is there a way to restart? She took her time to